The Cold Vanish, Seeking the Missing in North America's Wildlands by John Billman is a captivating exploration that delves into the phenomena of people going missing in the wilderness areas of North America. It weaves together investigative journalism, gripping narratives of real-life disappearances, and thought-provoking analysis about why these cases often remain unsolved. At the heart of the book is the poignant story of Randy Morganson, a seasoned backcountry ranger in California's Sierra Nevada, who mysteriously vanished in the summer of 1996. As Billman delves into Morganson's case, his narrative becomes a central thread that ties together various aspects examined throughout the book. Morganson's disappearance sparked one of the largest search and rescue missions at the time, yet despite extensive efforts, it took five years before his remains were accidentally found, providing some closure but leaving many questions unanswered. Billman explores the struggles and complexities involved in search and rescue operations in vast, rugged landscapes, highlighting the limits of human and technological resources. He introduces readers to organizations like the National Park Service and local rescue teams who face enormous challenges when searching for the missing. However, as the book unfolds, it becomes evident that the lack of centralized databases and standardized protocols across different jurisdictions exacerbates these challenges. One of the book's central themes is the sheer scale of the wilderness. North America's wildlands encompass millions of acres of remote forests, mountain ranges, deserts, and waterways. It's in these uncontrolled and unpredictable settings where people can quickly find themselves in perilous situations, leading to disappearances. Billman presents several cases, each demonstrating different ways people can vanish without a trace, from getting lost to potentially more sinister circumstances like foul play or animal attacks. Billman personalizes the narrative by including stories of individuals who have chosen to live off the grid or those deeply connected to the wilderness yet disappeared under mysterious circumstances. This gives a human face to the statistics and broadens the scope of the subject to account for intentional disappearances, as well as those who may choose to disappear for personal or philosophical reasons. While exploring the collective fear and fascination with the unknown, Billman introduces the concept of the cold vanish, where individuals vanish into the wilderness, leaving behind no clues as to their whereabouts. He delves into various theories and legends, such as the notion of wilderness ghosts, people who disappear and remain ghosts in the landscape, their fates forever unknown. The role of the Internet in perpetuating and solving wilderness disappearances is also examined. Online communities of amateur sleuths and interested onlookers often emerge around cases, speculating and contributing ideas, sometimes even attempting to solve these mysteries themselves. While this can potentially aid in gathering information, it also can lead to misinformation and distraction from the core efforts to find the missing. Even with the added assistance of modern technology such as drones, GPS, and sophisticated communication systems, the search for the missing in wilderness areas can still be a daunting task. The author dives into the advancements and limitations of technology in the field, contrasting high-tech solutions with the intuition and knowledge of seasoned trackers and outdoorsmen. Throughout the narrative, Billman contemplates the psychological impact on the families and friends of the missing. He illustrates how hope and despair alternate as time passes without answers, and how for some, the wilderness becomes a place of haunting beauty, haunted by the memories of the lost. Billman also touches on cultural and historical aspects of missing persons in wildlands. He discusses the relationship between indigenous peoples and the land and how indigenous knowledge systems might offer different perspectives on understanding the wilderness and its dangers. Furthermore, the book addresses the topic of how search efforts for missing people are influenced by class, race, and gender. Billman makes it clear that not all who vanish are treated equally, and societal biases often determine the resources allocated to different cases and how they are prioritized. This underscores the uncomfortable truth that some lives are valued more than others when it comes to media attention and search efforts. With The Cold Vanish, Billman does not only share gripping human stories, he also raises poignant questions about our relationship with nature. 
he wonders whether the wilderness is indeed reclaiming its own, whether there is something fundamentally incomprehensible about these wild places that humankind can never fully tame nor understand. In the end, the book is less about finding definitive answers and more about comprehension and acceptance of the unknown. It is a meditation on the profound resilience of human beings when faced with the vast, indifferent beauty of nature, but also a stark reminder of our vulnerability. Billman's narrative leaves readers with an enduring sense of the wilderness, a place of unspeakable wonder, and, sometimes, unsolvable mysteries. It encourages a respect for the wilderness and an acknowledgement that, in some cases, the search for the missing may lead to more questions than answers. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.